the placid rice fields of Myanmar and Bangladesh are silent witnesses to one of the largest humanitarian crises of our century. The tranquil rural landscape was suddenly overwhelmed by thousands of Rohingya people, a Muslim ethnic minority from Myanmar. They were terrorized by the military. Their villages were burned. The men were shot and the women systematically raped. They took my three-year-old baby from me and threw him in the fire. They ripped my clothes, made me naked and raped me in front of my daughter. Here, one million people live crammed in improvised windowless huts and endure temperatures of 45 degrees Celsius and humidity over 90%. Drenching in sweat, they survive mostly on meagre humanitarian aid and don't know if and when they will be able to return home. Kutupalong is the antechamber of hell, a cauldron of deeply distressed people with no future perspectives. Can hope survive the trauma 